Welcome to the vlog. In this video, we're going to look at why specific routes were chosen rather than others in a network running Cisco routers. So in this topology, I have four routers running within GNS3. Let's have a look at router one and use the command show IP route to view the routing table. So various routes have been learnt. The one I wanna point out is this one. In the routing table of router one, this network has been added by EIJRP. D indicates EIJRP as the routing protocol that added to the route. So we've got multiple routes, but this route is the one of interest. So we should be able to ping 4.4.4.4, which we can. That's the loopback of router four. To get to that network, we go via 10.1.2.2 and then 10.1.4.2. In other words, it's going via this link and then this link to get to the loopback of router four. Let's have a look at which routing protocols are running on the router. Show IP protocols shows us that OSPF is enabled. We are running OSPF on all interfaces on the router. EIJRP is also enabled on this router. And so is RIP. So router one has three routing protocols enabled. Now typically you won't do that in the real world, but we're doing that here to prove a point. So let's look at the OSPF database, the so show IP OSPF database. In the OSPF database, we have a router ID for router four. In other words, that route exists in the OSPF database. So why is OSPF not chosen for this route? OSPF is being used for this route, but it's not being used for this route. Why is that? So to help troubleshoot, we can use the following commands. Show IP OSPF interface brief. OSPF is enabled on both interfaces of router one. Show IP OSPF neighbor, but it only has a neighbor relationship to router two. Show IP EIJRP neighbor. EIJRP only has a neighbor relationship to router three. Now in this topology, I didn't enable EIJRP on router two. Router two only has OSPF enabled. On router three in this topology, we only have EIJRP and RIP enabled. But on router two, it is learning about the network 4.4.4.4 through OSPF from router four so router two is able to ping that loop back, but on router one, the network is not shown in the routing table. And that's because of administrative distance. EIJRP has an administrative distance of 90, OSPF has an administrative distance of 110. In other words, if a router such as router one learns about a network such as 4.4.4.4, from both an OSPF router and an EIJRP router, the EIJRP router is deemed to be more reliable. It's more believable. The lower the administrative distance, the more believable a route. In this example, OSPF has a higher admin distance when compared to EIJRP. So to get to this network, EIJRP is believed because it has a lower administrative distance when compared to OSPF. So for both the loopbacks of router three and router four, EIJRP is used, but OSPF is used for the loopback of router two. So let's concentrate on this network. EIJRP is used at the moment. So on router three, this is the configuration of EIJRP. If I shut down the link on router three, so I'm gonna shut down this port that means router three will no longer advertise network 4.4.4 .4 .4 to router one. 
what happens now? And what you'll notice is the entry is now replaced with an OSPF route. And if we trace to quadruple four, it's going via router two. If I no shut that link on router three, the link should come up and EIGRP should advertise the route once again. On router one, the route is replaced with an EIGRP entry rather than an OSPF entry because EIGRP has a lower admin distance than OSPF does. So EIGRP is chosen rather than OSPF. So just to prove the point again, I'll shut the interface. This is the interface on router three. Before I did that, an EIGRP route was used, but now an OSPF route is used, tracing to that loopback. It's now going via OSPF. No shut the link. Do a trace again. Still hasn't switched over yet. Let's try again. Notice it went from that to this. So a different path was taken. So because both EIGRP and OSPF are advertising the same network, there's a conflict and only one entry can be put into the routing table. Because EIGRP has a lower administrative distance than OSPF, EIGRP by default has an admin distance of 90. For internal EIGRP routes, OSPF has an admin distance of 110. And because of that, EIGRP was chosen. I'll cover other scenarios based on this topology in separate videos. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it and please also subscribe. I want to wish you all the very best.